Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see about the architectural design concepts. We know that architecture is the framework by which the any system can be designed. Let us see the three components of the architectural design, architectural context diagrams, archetypes and the architectural components. What is this architectural context diagram ACD? tells us it models how the software interacts with the external entities so we know that the software once we develop once we develop it has to interact with the external machines or the users or the components so these acds describe the context by which this software in interact with the external systems then archetypes they are all the classes or the patterns that represent an abstraction critical to the system so this gives the templates or the classes in a top level description which are relevant to the system and then the architectural components they are derived from the application domain infrastructure and the interface so on what application we are going to work on based on that application domain these components are derived let us see with the diagram of the whole safe system here you are representing the system in the context diagram this is the acd now the target system is a security function system. We are having the boundaries. There are many subsystems available. So here, this uh, a software architect uses an architectural context diagram ACD to model the manner in which the software interacts with the entities external to its boundaries. These are all the entities external to the boundaries. The components are in different types used by components are here users components and the peers components as well as the actors. What does this used to buy is these are all the components used by the target system. And what is the users is here the components which is giving the input and also getting the output that is the it's a bi-directional arrow showing the users subsystem and this is the used by showing a one day one way directional graph and then here peers are the same type of functionalities and here this these are all the actors are the one which acts external to the context of the diagram to give some input so they also come under the users type now these type systems are called as an subordinate systems where the we are using the users components it gives the input and the output in both the directions that means the users and also used by the generic structure of the architectural diagram is shown over here and let us see the components one by one superordinate systems those systems that use the target system as part of some higher level processing schema so that is the users and next one is the subordinate systems those systems that are used by the target system or provide data on the processing that are necessary to complete the target system functionalities so we are when you are using this use uses that is the superordinate system so here these are all the superordinate systems over here okay and here these are all the subordinate systems and then the peer level systems those systems that interact on a peer to peer basis that means they are in the same level they are produced or consumed by their peers and the target system next one is the actors these are all the entities or the people or the devices that interact with the target system by producing or consuming the information let us see how the archetypes are defined an archetype is a class are a pattern that represent a core abstraction that is critical to the design of an architecture for the target system so we define a target system now we are going to make the framework of the target system and for that framework what are all the patterns needed what are all the classes needed that all in the core level abstraction means they are in the top level abstraction which gives the definition of an archetype so the archetypes are the built building blocks or the abstract building blocks of an architectural design it is a generic idealized model of a person object or a concept from which similar instances are derived copied patterned or emulated actually we define a class and then we 
derive the classes we make a pattern we can copy the patterns to develop for the future patterns so they are all the so those can be either derived or copied so derive means we are adding more functionalities copy means they are using the same thing as an exact co exact uh, copy and pattern is we are using the template to derive more number of similar templates that is called as a pattern and emulated is those components can emulate from the basic components and now example for an archetype is for a car is F, the wheels the doors the seats and the engine are the archetypes of for a car now what are the components of the acd now we are ex explain in terms of the home security system so we have nodes what are all the nodes they represent the cohesive collection of input and the output elements of the home security system next to the for example a node mighty of included one it is given in the diagram the sensors and the indicators the sensors observes the image through the camera and these indicators are the alarms which gives output to the system so they are called as a nodes they are, they are the collection of input and the output elements next is detector an abstraction that covers all the sensing equipment that feeds the information into the target system so here some information is sensed and that is given as a message or a signal to the target system that is called as a detector next one is the indicator an abstraction that represents all mechanisms for indicating that alarm condition is occurring so for example based upon the sensor temperature or any other value it is going to give an indication that is called as an there is an alarming condition so they represent the mechanism they are called as an indicators example alarm siren flashing lights or bell sounds and then controller an abstraction that describes the mechanism that allows the arming or disarming of a node if a controller resides on a network they have the ability to communicate with the one another so they controls the the functionality of the system that is called as a controller now let us refine the architecture into the components. So once you define the architecture using the archetypes, the patterns, we can expand those into the components. So, so we know that component is a module. It has some predefined function or well-defined function of its own. So here we'll see some top level components. One is the external communication management. So here in the home safety system, the communication are got from the sensor, all the signals and the alarm or the alert is given to the output system. So the communication between the systems, which is internet based system, which gives, gets the input and also will pass us the in information to the output system. So they are called as an external communication management. So they make one component called as an external communication management which communicates the data between the home safety system which is the target system to the external subsystems. Everything is explained with the example of the home safety system. Next one is the control panel processing. This manages all the control panel functionalities. Next one is the detector management. This coordinates the access to all detectors attached to the system. So here we know we have seen that the detector or the sensors that are attached to the system and they send some image or some signal and they pass as an alarm alarm to the home safety system. So they are called as a detector management component. Next one is the alarm processing. It verifies and acts on all alarm conditions. So here we have a some target or the threshold value to say that if this value exceeds this level alarm should be on and that alarm should sound well or it sound low based upon the alarm level so those things are considered in the alarm processing system so once we define the architecture using the archetypes now we are defining or refining the components into the architectural the architectural uh, components into the real components the up based upon the functionalities like external communication management control panel processing detector management as well as the alarm processing so now it is now we are expanding the overall architecture structure into a top level components so now it is expanded how it is expanded now we are having the safe home executive system 
from there we yeah, have this is the external now we have directed the four uh, uh, components now what are they external communication management control processing detector management as well as the alarm processing now how they communicate with the safe home system the dotted lines are given so from the security which is the subsystem so this control panel processing detector management as well as the alarm processing give signal to the security system yeah there are many surveillance cameras are there so so this there are many cameras around the home safe system so they get the information from these three different components and then the home management system so the, here the function in order to give the safe home executive there are many functions can be get from the security level or from the surveillance level or from the home management system so many components are there any function can be selected based upon the necessity by the safe home executive system and then regarding this external communication management see guy that is the graphical user interface as well as the internet interface gives information to the external communication management that is what is being fed in the data is the signal or a image or which type of image and how this can be communicated to the safe home system so that is the external communication management so this diagram explains how the architectural structure is expanded into the top level components now we have to describe the instantiations of the system what is instantiation creating object of the system is called as an instantiation now architects that indicate the important abstractions within the problem domain have been defined already in the previous uh, slides we have seen now the structure have been that has been identified that means we have defined the whole architecture we have identified all the software components and now we have also find out the refinement now we have to further refine the components into the based upon the instantiation as we develop the class actually this is completely like first to make a overall structure then we define all the classes and relationship among the classes and everything we have defined and now we are creating objects for the classes is similar to the same type after identifying all the classes we are defining the instantiating the objects for the classes so what are all the objects here the objects may be the following figure demonstrate the components to accomplish this an actual instantiation of the architecture is developed it means again it simplified the it's by the more details so here you can see the diagram here this is the safe home executive system external communication management so we are seeing this the same components earlier but here these components give the instantiation that means you are creating an objects now we can see this part of diagram is expanded how it is expanded the control panel processing actually in the last diagram we have seen only these three components like control panel processing director management as well as the alarm processing now it is further instantiated further described in into lower level like how the control panel process get the information from the keypad processing as well as from the control panel display functions so those things give data to the control panel processing and how the data management works it gets data from the scheduler and scheduler gets the data from the sensor actually the sensor gives data periodically so accordingly based upon the sensor data this scheduler gets the information and process the information and give it to the detector management and this alarm processing gets the data from the phone communication or from the alarm so depending upon whether a call is made to indicate some error has occurred or some situation has reached so those things can other otherwise the user can call from outside the home and they can find out what is the level of their home safety system what is the scenario or what is the problem or what is the current in a scenario of the system so this communication from the phone line can be fed into the alarm processing system so this way the component system is elaborated using the instantiation process so this is how this component instantiation takes place and thanks for watching